Right in the mail, MSX games from Japan Collecting without fail those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a pick up and play video. It's a package all the way from Canada uh, from my good uh, friend Toby from Collectivision. Um, now I've done some previous videos of packages from Toby. So basically what Toby does, he is an absolute die-hard original Xbox and also uh, Xbox 360 collector. He does actually have a complete set of original Xbox games, but he's one of those people who goes after all the variants. And there are quite a few original Xbox games that are released down here in Australia with different covers and in different bundles. Um, so he, uh, and what he does, um, not all of them will ship um, to Canada for him. So he basically um, buys them on eBay and various sellers and gets them sent to me. I then package them up in a single combined box and send them over to him. Now interestingly enough, I sent him the box just before Christmas. Um, uh, paid a little extra to get it there fast and it went all the way across to Canada and the delivery people stuffed up gave Toby no time to pick it up so they were late it arrived on the, I think December 28th um, and um, he wasn't there they didn't leave a card they took it back to the depot uh, marked it for um, being held and then sent it all the way back so I've actually got his package back again and I'm currently just trying to see whether I can get my money back on the postage so I can send it back to him and what he does to pay me back for the postage that I spent because you know fairly heavy box but fair with those he sends me some collectivision games that I don't have so I sent him a list of the games that I did have um, and I do know they're releasing some new ones I'm not sure these are those because they've got some more coming out in a couple of months or so these might be those ones um, Okay, so the first one out, you definitely don't have these ones, is uh, Junk Wall, which I believe is, um, it's a bit like, how do I describe it? I've lost the name of the, um, <sighs> like a game... Uh, where there's a mad bomber up the top and he drops bombs down, I think. I think. You, and you've got to catch the stuff before it reaches the bottom. And I love these new boxes of theirs, which are made out of the, um, the shiny material. It makes them um, very, very nice, high quality titles. Let's have a look at the cartridge. And there's the label. Just got a couple of loose bits of polystyrene on there. And they come with a manual as well. Okay, so there's the manual. So we've got a nice bit of colour in it. And there's lots of different art. I think, I believe these artworks are featured in the game as well. So how to play in the title screen, you know, one, one player or two, two for two players, you can alternate playing. Uh, press five button, drop apples on the corner. All right, so it's the reverse of that. So you're the guy at the top and you've got to drop apples to stop the enemies climbing up the wall. That sounds pretty cool. I'll have to give that a go. I won't try and put everything back in, so I don't want to damage the instructions. Next we have... Um, this is probably converted across from either the SG... Um, SG-1000 or the um, MSX version and it's Hang On, I believe it's Hang On 2 as it's labelled. There's a 2 there in the um, in the titles. So they've done a um, American style box art. Once again it's in the glossy cover. It just makes the boxes so much nice, that new glossy cover. There's the cartridge. Always nice to have new games to have a play of. The 
the manuals in full colour. Has more artwork on the back. Very well done. Once again, I'm going to put it back together. And there is more. We have Ripcord. So it's a um, version of the arcade game Ripcord where you've got to try and um, land, jump out of the aeroplane and land on the particular. Um, things. I'm not sure you can see that screenshot. Really good fun game, I reckon. the cartridge. So I'm definitely giving that one a go. Get the manual out. Love the artwork style this one. Look, it's got the art on the back as well. And nice colourful screenshots. They really do, Collectivision do a very good job of putting their titles together. And there's, oh, there's more than, definitely more than I thought in here. Ah, this is interesting. So this is a title we've realised I didn't have the, I'm still trying to open the box and I haven't even shown it to you. And it is Galaga. I have the Galaxian version, but not Galaga. So this is one of their older titles. You must have found a um, spare copy, so I really appreciate this one. This one requires the Super Game module, which I didn't check that one. The Jungle doesn't, Ripcord doesn't. So the um, so I've got the gal version of Galaga for the MSX, and it's actually quite good. I'm not sure whether this is a conversion of that one. There is a version of Galaga for the SG-1000. Uh, um, and I do slightly remember that this is a, this may be a slightly improved version over that even as well. So there's the cartridge. So there we go. We've already got four games we can have a game of. So a quick look at the manual. And once again, really good attention to detail. I love the Galaga artwork. Look at that. All in full colour. And there's another one here. Toby's been more than generous. Oh, cool. That'd be pretty cool. So it's Car Fighter. So Casio brought out Car Fighter uh, for the MSX. So this is probably converted for the MSX. It does require the Super Game module. Nice glossy box. There's our cartridge. So five games to play. Awesome. Have a quick look at our manual. Once again, that that artwork looks like the artwork off the. Um, I'm sure I've got Car Fighter. I don't think I've got the box though. So that looks like the artwork off the front of the cartridge. There's the game, and it actually um, it actually has quite smooth scrolling in the game, so which is very very interesting, and um, it's quite a good fun uh, variation. Um, so there was Road Fighter for by by Konami, and I actually thought this was the same game, but it isn't. It is actually very much like um, Konami's Road Fighter, but it has some differences. So. Very, very cool additions to the ColecoVision collection. Thank you very much, Toby. And yes, I'll have to get your package on the way over to you again uh, once my lovely Australia Post over here uh, actually uh, get back to me. So the package only arrived back the other day. All right, so I'll get set up and we'll plug these into the ColecoVision and give them a game. Right, so here we go, junk wall. Lots of different languages, but pretty clear what I've got to do. Very colourful game. Lots of animations in the sprite shape as well.
flashing on star. Okay. First level, pretty simple of course. Now the zigzag in a bit. I've used lots of colours for the oops, lots of colours for the sprites, and I've got colourful backgrounds as well, which shows you know you can do a lot. I mean, look at this one; that's pretty cool. Ooh, that's tricky. A bit harder to see the penguins. So there are some things you can't hurt. That actually lost me a life. This is where maybe reading the instructions might have helped me a little bit, but anyway. Definitely gives you time, doesn't it? Yeah, not doing too bad. Take it if you shoot a hard one, it gives you a heart on this. You get an extra life back anyway, didn't I? Yeah, okay, it didn't hurt me. Definitely pauses the thing for a minute. Oh, okay, let the heart go up and I get one back. Still going, it's getting harder though. Love the font styles and things. Right, so if you hit the bomb one, it clears all the ones on the screen. I'm not going to last much longer, am I? Oh, oh down to our last one. Oh, so you reset, you do reset your um, your hits. Hmm. 
okay, so it's not a bad game. It, you know, it builds up a bit of challenge as it goes through, but it's not too hard to start with. And yeah, so you've got three underlying lives, obviously, if you fail. There's two enemies coming at once. Still can't believe I'm surviving so long. played that one enough. Let's go give the next game a try. Yeah, so there we go. It's Hang On 2. So this has come across from the SG-1000 version. Um, let's give it a go. It's actually very apt. I did a um, Tubers High School Challenge on our one recently. Okay, the second button accelerates. Oops. So this is um not a bad racing game for the system. Considering limitations and things. Oh. Doing just as bad as I did in the Tubers High School Challenge with the arcade version here. We might have to have a go at this a couple of times. Oh no, I made it to the second stage. I'm surprised. racetrack effects. I'm surprised. Oh. And as you can see we've got different scenery. Difficulty too, wasn't it? <laughs> City night. So it obviously has a little bit of flickering, but it's not too bad. Thank you. 
for the time remaining. Challenge the next course. Okay. So I didn't realise it kept going. So it's actually... There is a lot of game here. Alright. I actually quite like this one. It's really good. Um, obviously I haven't played the SG-1000 one for a while and I've forgotten about it. Alright. Let's try the next game. Right, so coding and graphics by Russ Cumro, Cumro, sorry, and music by Daniel. Excellent. Three sets of of intro screens, which is quite good. Nice bit of music going. So this will work on a stock standard. I think. Oh, well, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do entry level skill. Never played it before, so I'm going to be rubbish. Okay, so what do you do? You ah. okay? So don't touch the helicopters at all. You press your button to to your parachute. And that gets us ten points, right? Go. Get a right. I don't know if I can get that one. Mm -hmm. There we go. That helicopter stopped. Hogging near the twenty now. Yes, yeah, so you need to get one of each point time. Okay, mission two. It's only a 50 we need. It's tricky. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Mission 3. Sound effects are a little quieter in this one. So. Some up a bit for you guys. Okay. No, we got it. Ah, split. Hope <laughs> okay, there's 10. Yep. Now we need a 50. Getting our right amount of 
you know, skydiving when you're moving fast and getting your chute open. Cool. Whoa, they're coming for me. somehow. Actually that was a mistake. Mm, dear. Yeah, right to the last minute there. Yeah, so obviously if you run into one of the helicopters and die, it removes one, so you'd lose that from the bonus at the end. Oh, damn it. Just missed. <laughs> Too late. No, press the button. Okay, now we gotta get ten. <sighs> That's a cool little game. Alright, we've got one jump left. Ooh, what's the helicopter? The helicopter I've got to do. He. It's actually easier to get these ones on the left than it is the building ones over there. 20 points for the other helicopter. On our last life, we might as well keep going. Ah. Oh, not a bad game. Well, let's try our next one. Right, so here we go with Galaga. to fire right if you do it yourself nice explosions Oops, thing obviously does cut your um makes your ship a lot wider too so you've got to be careful got to get it back first too and 
And if you go and shoot your ship rather than the guy carrying it, and then die afterwards, you get yourself down. You get yourself down to. Oh god. Very embarrassing if it didn't even make it to the second stage. See now they now they do a bit of shooting as they come in. Whoa, no 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 no! gonna have to have another go because we've got to get to the challenge stage in Galaga it's just not on to not get to the challenge stage and I argue the defense of playing with a normal Coleco controller instead of my arcade stick pure laziness on my behalf Chip. Oh god, it's, it's a green one. Oh, no! I need my ship back. Give us a back. Yeah. Yeah. Right, now don't lose it. Challenge stage! Woo Ooh. Oh my stuffed up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! Extra life. So as you can see, it is quite a very decent, accurate version. But, but ship size, of course, and things, but just makes everything, you know, much more accurate. Obviously, today I can't play for a damn. But anyway, we did make the level four, so even has the. Enemies that split up. Oh. Oh. Obviously not my day today. But anyway, great fun game. Definitely we'll be playing that one lots more. Alright, we have one more to go. Let's go try it out. Right, here we go with Car Fighter. As you can see, it looks very cool. So we've got to go through different places. Right, we've got to push forwards and we can shoot. Whoops. Oh, and you can't run into the side of the road.
shoot sideways as well if you push in that direction. Oh! And so many other guys are faster than me. Yes. Oh, I think we're supposed to. Did we get yes? Oh god, he's nasty. Checkpoint. Right, okay. Right, so the graduation on the right there is the goal. Where's oh, yeah, fuel? Probably gonna drop it like I am. Um. And the bombs. Oh, you can fire your bombs backwards. Cool. I've almost made it to the goal. Yeah. So it fuels that first gauge, right? Okay. Not done too bad, but yeah. Okay. We don't get new fuel, so. Skinny road. Past him. Oh! Got me from behind. At least you don't seem to lose fuel when you die. Cool game. Oh, there you go. Right. We've made it halfway across. Oh, it's dropping stuff out the back. Oh goodness me.
I think you have to stop on the gas. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. This one definitely would need to get bring out another joystick, I think. I don't seem to be losing much fuel though. Hmm. It's got different scenery and stuff like that, so it's not too bad. See, if you get killed, you get fuel back, so... It's interesting. We don't seem to have much concept of lives here. But it's probably, possibly, just the mode I'm playing it in. starting to hurt now so I better leave it at that so thank you very much Toby for sending these games across um, I'll definitely be getting some more gameplay um, Clico collections looking very very nice um, lots of homebrews and um, the illusional collections not too, coming along quite nicely as well all right hope you have enjoyed this pick up and play episode I'm Electric Adventures thanks to all my subscribers thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time mm -hmm.